Hi, this is Lee Rittenauer, and welcome to our photo shoot. You're behind the scenes with us. I started when I was eight. I think before that I was putting uh, rubber bands on the end of broomstick handles when I was five or six. The vibration of the string was definitely a fascination for me. This band that I was in was combining sort of jazz and rock and they met John Phillips from the Mamas and the Papas and John agreed to produce a couple of tracks on us. A couple years later I met Sergio Mendes and ended up working on a couple of his records. So, And then I met my buddy Dave Grusin and he was doing a lot of film already and, and he was very respected in Los Angeles and, and he was doing a lot of big films and television. So he started to invite me on sessions and Dave's name was kind of golden in the town so they said well whoever this kid is that Dave is using must be good. So then I started getting all these other calls. And by the time I was 21, I was doing like three sessions a day. School was really kind of a burden for me, which I don't tell my teenager. <laughs> you know, I just died for the summers to come because then I just ate the guitar, you know. It was eight hours, 10 hours a day of, of music. There was a review of me in the Battle of the Bands at the Hollywood Bowl. We came in second behind the Carpenters. And that was when Karen Carpenter was playing drums, not, she wasn't singing, and Richard was playing jazz piano, it was hilarious. Uh, our band came in second, and, uh, and I, you know, so I knew them from those days, and then later I recorded with the Carpenters, and I reminded Richard, I said, hey dude, you remember that other band that was on your tail? That was us. <laughs> uh, we have this very exciting event out in Montana at this great uh, guitar workshop called the Crown of the Continents, and that's where the Six String Theory Yamaha competition that we've been running, Yamaha will be there in full force giving out guitars and, and endorsements and, and uh, D'Addario's involved and Monster Cable's involved and there's like over $100,000 worth of prizes. Uh, the first time I went to Japan was with Sergio Mendes in 1974 and I happened to meet some of the Yamaha guys then and uh, right during that year they gave me a beautiful classical guitar that was handcrafted and one of only two that were made uh, and it, it was on every one of my records for the next 25 years. The silent guitar, yeah. And that's the funny thing, that guitar gets more attention still than any guitar I own, you know. People come up to me and people write all the time because it sounds so great and then it just looks so different. This guitar, the A-Series, is like really unique because it's still not that expensive of a guitar. The price is, is really great. And then the, the guitar neck is kind of this hybrid neck where it's really easy to play. They kind of hit this niche right in the middle where it's like, you know, pros can play it or students. Something for everybody there. It doesn't happen too often. Hi, this is Lee Rittenauer and I'm just signing off and saying uh, thanks for visiting and checking us out and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.